everybody. Andrew Zimmern, Bizarre Foods America, Top 5 Video Countdown, the St. Croix U.S. Virgin Islands episode. Without further ado, number five, all the fantastic street fair. You know, everybody is trying to earn a living any which way they can on the island, and that has been a boon for food freaks. Strange fruit like this is a horrible thing to eat. You know why? Because you can't get it again. <laughs> And tiny little fruit stands still dot the road here and there. But a lot of enterprising entrepreneurs like the Rookies Roadies, it's traditional East Indian style bread made by someone from the West Indies. Yes. In the Virgin Islands. So this is about as multi culty as you can find in these parts. Mm. Uh, Joe can cook, truck. All these people have shown up with fantastic foods. I mean, come on. You want to eat that, don't you? And are cooking the most soulful food to be found on the island. Number four, pebbles, tico, spear fishing, land crabbing. Oh, yeah, he's a huge one. Dolphin fish, row eating, parrot fish snapper, grilling monster of a night. I mean, this is the essence of, I think, what represents this island best. You go to a restaurant for different things. Some people for the food, some for the service, some for the ambiance, some for all three. This is an all three home run. It's about as honest and authentic and upfront as it gets. Uh, it's actually how people, many people live here. And it's, it, it was thrilling, great food. Thanks, gents. Number three, Senapole Cattle. Haunts, the ranch, the cowboys. When people think of St. Croix, they don't really think of ranching, do they? No. Not too much. They think of more of the beaches and the weather. But this is an island breed of cattle uh, that's uh, heat resistant, has beautiful fresh meat, roams freely, eats island grass, drinks island water. This is the animal we're going to eat right here, the one right in front. Beautiful. 257. 257. And uh, it's popular all around the world, and, it, and its birthplace is here. It's Crucian Cattle. Number two, Captain Daly. What a lovable, fantastic guy. You know, he took us out on his, on his boat. We grabbed some shellfish. Oh, this is unbelievable. They have a hard skin, which is where they get their name, shellfish. We took it back to his house. We had a backyard fish grill up picnic. I, I got some island wisdom from him. Children is your biggest asset. You know I'm a millionaire. Love it. Guy was fantastic. Great cook. You know that there are people who dream about this and in a lifetime never get to eat fish like this an hour out of the water, cooked under a, a tree. Mm. Great spirit of life and a heck of a boat captain. Number one, by leaps and bounds, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. Lovely home, fantastic story. Your wife tells me that this whole crazy thing was your idea. <laughs> right after Hugo. Right after Hugo? Yeah. In 1989, Hurricane Hugo turned lives upside down all throughout the Caribbean. I used to be in um, the dry cleaning business. Yeah. And it did. Break. Yes, um, break it up. Changed everything, right? So I had to make money as quick as I can. Right. One night, Hugo rolls in. The next day, his life is turned upside down. He says, hey, honey, let's start a food truck. And he starts feeding people. And, you know, two and a half decades later, the best food, I probably sampled six or seven items between their kitchen and their truck. Best food I've eaten. It's amazing. When Mother Nature taught these two to cook she was just showing off it's unbelievable wow i'm getting hungry just thinking about it so long from sunny paradise st croix in the u.s virgin islands